Welcome to Good Mythical Mar and your Belinda and everywhere else your Linda. <laughs> My Belinda. Do? What are we gonna do? Your Belinda. Oh man, you Rhett, you wouldn't believe it. We have the ten most annoying toys. Really? As ranked by a a stellar publication. You're kidding. We're gonna do that? And we're gonna rank these and see if they agree with us. What if I was always this excited about everything that you said? I'd you are in the thumbnails. I prefer That's right. that. We're gonna we're gonna rank thumbnails. Them. We're gonna see how our ranking compares to the real thing. Uh, but first, we're donating one thousand dollars to the Jed Foundation to aid in their mission to protect emotional health and prevent suicide for teens and young adults. The Jed Foundation partners with high schools and colleges to strengthen their mental health, substance abuse, and suicide prevention programs, and they work to equip young people with the skills and knowledge to help themselves and each other. Please join us in giving at jedfoundation.org. J-E-D. That's how you spell Jed. Thanks for being your mythical best, Jed Foundation, and for you in helping out as well. All right, let's see the first one. So, well, let me give a little bit more context to uh, the people watching other than a fine publication. Um, so in February of last year, New York Times writer Jessica Delfino published an unofficial ranking of the 10 most annoying kids' toys. Delfino? And so you have the... Um, the toys in front of you, you're going to rank them in the order you find most annoying, 10 being the least annoying, one being the most annoying, and then we're going to compare it to uh, her ranking at the time. Jessica Delfino, is she is she a negative Nancy? Um, she. This is all data-based for her. So she chatted with more than 100 mothers oh. in an online parenting group. I see a couple of things that are really going to be offensive to you personally on this list. But let's start with the Talking Baby Walker. Talking Baby Walker. I mean, it's already annoying me. These little kids, man, they're not learning anything. This isn't this isn't representative of the real hey, world. Hey, I'm not developed, so I have to push on this in order to walk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is you gonna just learn to listen? You just pull on things, but it doesn't even work. What happens? You okay, can't. This goes around the baby's neck, I think. You, you, listen, like you, a collar. If you press a frog in real life, it doesn't rib it, rib it, rib it. It dies. I'm so annoyed by this. Put it at number one. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? Something's got to be more annoying than this. Let's put it at three, just so we can move on and not have to think about it. Shut anymore. up! I, I just turn made it, it off. Like that. And I got this. We didn't give our kids those things. Now, this right here. I wasn't willing to sacrifice my own peace and quiet. Gone in the first 48 hours. Anything that's not permanently attached. They'll eat it and poop it right out. Right. Gone in 48 hours. Back in... 67 hours. Six to seven hours? 67. Oh. Slime. You can keep that. No. Oh, slime. There's been a, no, is you, this that fart you slime? You have a, a slime heavy household. Lando's into the slime. Lando uh, At still, least was. He still likes to, to, to make slime Do you find it annoying? No, because actually when he, <clears throat> when he has it. He, clean, he cleans up after himself though. He's a, <laughs> he's a clean kid. I'll ask for a piece of <laughs> something in my throat. You okay? Hey, just take some slime. Chug some uh, slime. It'll, 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 uh, get, it'll, 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 it'll get it'll get it'll get I can shove it down my throat and pull out. The, oh, <laughs> do it. Oh, God. I got it. It's stuck on the end there. Oh man, that's ridiculous, man. Does this does this make like a bouncy ball? I like slime. Slime ain't never. Oh! It bounced. Huh, how did you do that? <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> you didn't know about the bouncy? I didn't this know this is annoying. Line. This is great. Right, so we're putting that down at the bottom. <laughs> you gotta turn your head first. You gotta, you gotta turn your I just missed the timing, I was like. <laughs> Yeah. You like drew so much attention to the fact that it was not in your mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, I just got it. I just got it in my hair. Okay. Hey, you hit me on the list with that. That's pretty good. I think if I throw this at your eye, it'll stick to your glasses. <laughs> Stop. Oh, right on the rock. I, think if I, I throw this in your mouth. It'll it'll choke you. 
Breathe in. Open your mouth and breathe in. No, man. <gasps> I don't, don't want to die. <clears throat> I don't want to die. Fur Furby. I don't want to die. Oh, the Furby. Uh, we've we've killed one of these with the guillotine. These these things. You think they're cute until you realize how annoying they are and unkillable. It's less annoying than a talking baby walker, though, isn't it? Because it's kind of cute. It is, uh, just for the first day, man. This is more annoying. Okay, put it at number two. Good night, bestie. Can you, can you, you do something to like make it, make it mad? Where it gets mad? Yeah. It's freaking shedding. Oh, come on. Well, just go to sleep, homie. Okay. Shut up. Go. Ant farm. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. It's like an alligator. Why is an ant farm annoying? How could, a, how could an ant, first of all, where are the ants, Lucas? Oh, shh. <laughs> They're out! <laughs> They're in the studio! Yep. <laughs> How do you load an ant farm? You just set it outside for a couple of days and wait? Or does it come with a little bag of ants? I don't know. What happens? Bag of ants. It comes with a bag of ants? It yeah. does come with a bag of ants. Yeah, yeah. How are they alive? They're in like a little box? Shipped bag? recently? I don't know. They live forever. Man. I, you know what? I always thought I wanted an ant farm, but I never actually got one. So I don't find them annoying. I don't find them annoying. But yeah, that, how could this be annoying? Like, what about an ant farm is annoying? I mean, have you had an experience with an ant farm? Dude, right now, haven't it? Right. Neither one of us have. Has any? A, has anybody had an experience? Do with they an like? Ant farm? Do they bust open? Yeah. They bust open yeah. and a bag of ants gets yeah, out. They do. They get uh, out. Oh, the ants get out. Yeah, like easily. Oh, easily. Yeah, it's, there's like no security in those things. Uh, no, sec no security. Okay, I see what you mean. If yeah. the ants get out, you're basically infesting your house with ants. Yeah, then your house yeah, that, becomes the ant. That's form. actually pretty, pretty annoying. Okay, well, maybe now maybe I'm, that I'm preparing for you to be personally offended by this rock tumbler. Oh, seriously? I mean, just it, I guess it's because of the noise. noise. And that, you know, the noise to enjoyment ratio is very out of whack. It's like you get you endure a lot of noise for and then you're like interacting with it and you've got it there's a lot of waiting. It's pretty much mostly waiting. I put this thing in my garage. Lando and I did this early on in the pandemic, I think. And um What'd you make? I could hear it in the house. How, well, I was like, what is that? What is that noise about? Oh yeah, the rock tumbler. Did it make some smooth rocks? Three weeks later, what is that noise? Oh, it's still the rock tumbler, so yeah. How smooth did the rocks get? So smooth. Really? The smoothest. But but you get anxious and you want to open it and you open it too early and... What if you put slime in there? Nothing, nothing happens if you put I slime in I don't find it too annoying. I find it kind of like, you gotta it's put almost it, like a white noise machine. Put it in a remote location. Talking puzzle. Talking puzzle. Now put it back in. No, now put 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 one well, back in. All right, you gotta. See. No, put it in the right one. Zebra. Zebra. Sound, oh. sound like a horse to me. <laughs> here's a here's a. I think that, I don't know if that one comes out. I think it might just be an example piece. <laughs> This one doesn't come out. Yeah, that was a, that was a trick. How annoying is that? It's a trick piece. Why would it? Why would it not come out? Did you glue it in? That's Morgan. So. Morgan, is this thing annoying to you? Four, five, six, <laughs> a little bit. Can you just push on it without the piece? Yeah, all the smart kids figure that out. No, no, right now, look. See, the smart kids figure that out. The bear just farted. 
Elephant. Yeah. Well, that's realistic. Down. Lion. Link's learning a lot. <laughs> that just says bird. This is less annoying than the talking baby tumbler. It's more annoying than an ant farm. Morgan, I didn't know this was actually yours. I wouldn't have, like, really tried to destroy it. Glitter did you say shaker. Talking baby tumbler. I probably did. Talking baby walker. Glitter shaker. Oh God, That's this one. is number one. Yeah, I don't. I mean, what? Oh, th this is against the rules, man. He's, well, it's not open. Try it. Oh my gosh. Try it. What do you mean try it? I didn't try shaking it. I, I did. You. I did shake it, but I, this is it. This is rule number one. Do you know the hell that could be unleashed it's, by uh, this it's thing? GMM, it's rule number two. No glitter. Good gracious, man. That's just, that is a nightmare. Look, I mean, that's like... It sticks like, to the inside of the plastic. It's the problem that the ant farm has, but it's worse. Think about the person who works at Charles Leonard Incorporated in Hopage, New York, who makes this stuff. Oh, man, he's got it everywhere in every orifice. Do they start with a big glitter sheet and just cut it up with scissors? How, you want to know how they make glitter? Yeah, I want to well, go to don't the glitter. Don't tell me. I want to go to the glitter factory. Can I go by myself? Yeah, I'm not going with you. I mean, I don't. I. I, I, I you, whoa, whoa, you make it whoa, out alive. What will it hurt to take? Whoa, I mean, don't don't do it. <laughs> I mean, think about how like legit. I'm not gonna do it. But if I wanted to make you the most legitimately mad you've maybe ever been in your life. If I were to take this off and just dump it on your head, like right here, like if I think about how mad that would make you, like you might kill me on camera. Like you might murder me on camera. Permission to murder on camera? <laughs> I'm not gonna do you it. Go for it. Yes, because that is exactly what would happen. Okay, that's number one. I'm on team number one. For yeah, one. glitter shaker. You know what's not annoying? <laughs> Look at this. It's the Rhett and Link Sing Brooks and Dunn in the year 3000. Oh, are you, you mean to tell me we have an, a vinyl album, a record? Yeah, we do. Where we sang Brooks and Dunn, we sang Neon Moon and Boot, Boot Scoot, Scoot and, and Boogie, Boogie, but we sang it in the year 3000? <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> what? If you want this, get pick that up, man. Pick it up. If you, this this emulates a Brooks and Dunn album that actually exists. So we got it from. Ooh, it looks good. But it's but it's got a little bit of update to the year three thousand. Uh, if you want this thing, um, you got to join. You got to be a third degree monthly member of the Mythical Society, and we got a special treat for you. Get fifteen percent off the third degree monthly plan tomorrow only. We're giving you a heads up. Tomorrow only, fifteen percent off the third. Uh, degree monthly plan, and then you get qualified for this. MythicalSociety.com for details. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What's next? Kinetic sand. Oh, this is good stuff. Yeah, I like that stuff. This stuff feels. Oh, look at it. Look how it has a well, the way that it mm -hmm. just. You're kind of demonstrating. It, it's like what it's a People find annoying about it though is that it gets everywhere. But it comes up it's pretty so, easy. Yeah, it you can group it back together pretty easily. Now, how do they? Is this like regular sand that was had a spell cast on it? Yeah, it's yes. How, how do they do it? It's got a. It's a. You I know, think the devil is involved in this stuff. Po and polymers. 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 Yeah, that's the devil stuff, man. I mean, just the way that it is. It chemistry or is it demons? <laughs> Tonight at seven. <laughs> if you put this. <laughs> Tonight is seven. <laughs> seven o'clock is not a news time. <laughs> yeah, I, it's not news, man. It's after news. It's like the ET slot. Entertainment tonight. Local ET slot. Tonight is seven. We t we're gonna put this in an ant farm. Well, what do ants would do with this? We're gonna have a preacher pray over this and see if it changes. Tonight at seven. Chemistry or demons? You be the judge. Troubleshooter. Troubleshooter. <laughs> I think we demonstrated this is pretty annoying, though. I mean, it's on oh, my hands no. it, now. It feels so good, and it's not like it's not like glitter. It's not like glitter. It's dirt because it because it does come off. You can get it off. You won't find some. Yeah, like, it comes off in your butt crack later on. Um, but it's pretty annoying. It's not as annoying as a talking puzzle. 
It's it's less annoying than an ant farm because the ants can get out. Agreed, man. Play-Doh. Why Who, is Play-Doh annoying? Play-Doh? Play-Doh? Man, she she's a negative Nancy. Who's annoyed by Play-Doh? Pl- I think Play-Doh gets everywhere. Play-Doh's less annoying than slime. Oh, this is some fresh Play-Doh. And we'll just leave Rock Tumbler there because why not? Yeah, I don't, I don't I I can't see why that would be the case. All right, we're down to the last one. Harmonica. What is this? I can't even get this out. A now, harmonica? this might be personally offensive to you because you play the harmonica, but I am a I'm a virtuoso. Kids who thing. play the harmonica. Oh gosh, uh, that got pretty annoying pretty I don't fast. know who spit that was, but I sucked it all out. Oh gosh. <laughs> it, by the end- A it, kid and a harmonica? Yeah, I think- Are not soon enough parted. Are you considering moving? There. I mean, uh, away from Link? No, I love it here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this mm. makes sense to me. Your ranking makes sense. I will say the New York Times ranking doesn't make as much sense to me. So we're going to start That's at right, 10. girl. You're with us. Yeah. So their um, number 10, which is least annoying, yep. is somehow Furby. And she has like little subheaders. So it says like oh, number 10, out. Furby, colon. And then it has like a description of why the toy is annoying. And it says relentless, which makes sense. Furby is relentless. Yeah, so why is it at number two? Apparently, this thing right here makes it relent. If you can get that back on there. What you talking about, Dito? <laughs> what you talking about, Dito? What you calling me Tito for? Good night, bestie. See, that works. All right. Okay, and I, I, I apologize in advance because I can't stand up for these choices. I know you're just going to get perpetually uh, frustrated by this because at number nine is the harmonica. Well, All right, what's the adjective? It says irritating saliva spreader. Saliva. Okay, so we were right on that. Saliva then, spreader, yeah. That thing goes everywhere. At eight, we have kinetic sand. Okay. Uh, description. Okay. We're, slip we're almost... hazard. Slip hazard. Slip hazard. Really, though? Then at seven, we have rock tumbler, which, I mean, you can... We're in I, this area. I think you can... Uh, you know what the descriptor is. Noisy. Loud, yeah. Um, then we have the talking puzzle at number six. This is an interesting descriptor. Creepy. No, Creepy. It's, no, it's not. Creepy? I gotta agree. I disagree with you on that. Creepy. I have to scroll to this one because I'm confused. This to I swear that the creepy. bear farts. Is it me? Bear. <laughs> oh, it's because I guess it breaks and then it ribbit. This says ours ribbited for 48 hours straight. I mean. That's your problem. Song too. Yeah, he, he, he bear has a little fart thing happens. Okay, I mean, at number five, the uh, glitter shaker. Okay, well that's just plain wrong. With the descriptor eternal. Yeah, right. Which is correct. Yeah, you never get rid of it. This makes no sense. At number four is play doh, and it says destroyer of nice things. Has play doh ever destroyed? I think Something? if you if if you rub it Are into you your ones? carpet, or oh. rub it into your hair, or those are both rub nice it things. into a piece of fine art. True. Yeah. Number like, three, we have ant farm. The, the description is very confusing because it has it doesn't say the ants escape. It just says depressing. 
depressing. It's like watching ants trapped. I guess it's the number three most annoying kids toy because it's depressing. Because it's depressing? Yeah. Number two is slime. You can imagine similar reasons to number four, Play-Doh, in that it is destructive. And at number one Mm -hmm. is the talking baby walker. I mean, it's pretty annoying. And the description is unclear frenetic identity. (laughs) Unclear frenetic identity. What does that mean? I think it just means that it's what this is supposed to accomplish and represent and train is unclear, but very frenetic. Yes. Which I agree. It makes no sense. A barn, a keyboard, a phone, what are you? (laughs) Is the quote. Yeah. Most kids who are raised on this end up never being fulfilled in their vocational work. Right. Yeah. It's like always switching jobs, just trying to figure out what they're supposed to be doing. (laughs) You know, don't give your kids this thing. It'll mess them up forever. Yeah, I I, I do hate this thing. (laughs) These are Morgans. (laughs) <laughs> oh. <laughs> it looks like that. To get the Rhett and Link Sing Brooks and Dunn vinyl, join Third Degree Monthly by April 30th or Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by June 30th. MythicalSociety.com for details.